from Oregon is recognized. Madam President, in a bit, I hope to be able to put forward and pass a unanimous consent request asking the Senate to take up and approve the nomination of Ms. Michelle Taylor to serve as the United States Representative to the UN Human Rights Council with the rank of ambassador. Before I put that request forward, I want to take up just a few minutes to talk about why Ms. Taylor is, in my view, the right choice for this important role and why the Senate must act on her nomination quickly. In blunt terms, Michelle Taylor is simply a champion for fundamental human and political rights. She now serves on the board of the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. She has been a leader with other humanitarian groups, including the Anti-Defamation League and the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum Council. She has battled for the rights of women and other vulnerable Americans. On a personal level, level Madam President, I come from a family that lost relatives in the Holocaust. Ms. Taylor is the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. It is absolutely essential that fighting against the rise of Semitism is a key part of America's diplomacy. Ms. Taylor certainly understands that. I'm confident she'll work to lead our partners and allies toward a more peaceful, prosperous future grounded in respect for human dignity. In the Senate, there is bipartisan interest in ensuring that the United States stands up and battles for human rights around the world. For example, on the Finance Committee, Senator Brown, Senator Crapo, and I have put a lot of hours in in recent years to address the scourge of forced labor in China and elsewhere in the world. I know also this is a subject that the President of the Senate cares deeply about. This is just one of the human rights atrocities that our country must stand up to forcefully. The Senate must show that our concern for these issues is more than just idle talk. That's why the Senate must not delay the nominations of highly qualified individuals like Ms. Michelle Taylor, who are up for consideration in key roles advancing human rights. Now, there is a matter of the sensitivity uh, of the time, Madam President, as well. The regular session of the UN Human Rights Council begins on February 28th, which is obviously just days away. It's essential, in my view, that we confirm our representative now. Delaying Ms. Taylor's confirmation simply hinders the United States' ability to advocate for American values and help vulnerable people who are suffering under abuse and oppression around the world. Moving this nomination forward is an opportunity for the Senate to show this chamber's commitment to advancing human rights is in fact more than just talk. There's a deadline, a specific concrete deadline of February 28th that's bearing down on the chamber. There simply is no more time to delay on this important nomination. Uh, we await um, a colleague who would like um, to have a chance uh, to uh, be heard on this, to consider it. Uh, I do hope that we can work this out uh, uh, here in the afternoon. Uh, hopefully the, the Senate will uh, wrap up business uh, this afternoon because this really is time sensitive. Members talk about matters that actually may be coming up. This one is upon us. I do hope that we will be able to clear Ms. Michelle uh, Taylor to serve as the United States Representative to the UN Human Rights Council with the rank of ambassador before uh, the close of business today. Thank you, Madam President.